Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. This is your reading for uh, April 1st through the 7th, 2019 for all Virgo suns, moons, and risings. And Virgo's on the house cusp of maybe watching. Um, guys, thank you so much for your patience while I've been gone over the past two weeks. I know that was a long break for many of you, but um, I mentioned in other videos um, that I just posted recently that um, with the Mercury retrograde in Pisces, I do have a stellium in the 12th house. That was a really tough time for me. I just needed some space and time to get grounded again and to do my healing. So thank you so much for all of you for being patient and I really hope that I can make it up to you this week with some love reading. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let me just briefly describe to you the format for this weekly reading. We're going to pull four messages here, four cards from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart, and they're going to be focused on love. This whole reading is going to be focused on your love life for this week, so um, for the first through the seventh. We're also going to pull a Romance Angels message for you, or whatever comes out for that in terms of love messages. Um, we're going to look at your Kama Sutra position for you, Virgo, and a crystal that will help you manifest and uh, ground and attract more love into your life, um, help you with your relationships, etc. So let me go ahead and move these over here and we're going to go ahead and get started in just a moment. So I'm going to pull all the cards first and then we're going to go over them. So just give me a moment here while I shuffle. What does Virgo need to know regarding their love life? from April 1st through the 7th, 2019. All Virgo suns, moons, and risings. Virgo's on the house cusp. Please show me their current situation. In love, who is coming towards Virgo? What is a challenge Virgo will be facing in terms of love? And then also their future slash outcome. So we do have the three of pentacles uh, popping out here. So um, this does indicate this is very good, actually, in terms of love, because this indicates um, greater romantic feelings, you know, having been moved romantically um, to work with others. Um, some of you could be uh, loving someone on the job. This could also be a situation where there are three people, but uh, there's a willingness here to build on something as well, if that's not the case. Um, either way, it doesn't always necessarily indicate a love triangle, it can, but here I'm seeing that um, you are building the foundation of the relationship and it looks very, very good for go. So we'll see if that comes out for the greater messages here. I'm just going to continue to focus. Virgo, April 7th through, April 1st through the 7th, 2019. Please give me the four cards for Virgo Spirit. We are wanting to fly out today. I'm going to do three shuffles here. One, two. Three seems to be the magic number for you, Virgo. Simultaneously, I also do want to look at your romance angels. What is the message for Virgo with regards to their love life? Love lives, April 1st through the 7th, 2019. All Virgo suns, moons, and risings, and Virgos on the house cast April 1st through the 7th, please. What is your message for Virgo? Romancing into the spirit. This one right here. What is the sex fortune Kama Sutra position for Virgo that will be best for Virgo? This one right here. And what 
Crystal will help Virgo in terms of their love life. April 1st through the 7th, 2019. How Crystal will aid Virgo in terms of love and relationships. It's a couple right there. So I will. <clears throat> I can't read all of these. So I'm just going to pick one. All right. Very good. All right, Virgo. Let's get started here. You have your cards laid out. Virgo, your current situation, you have third eye chakra. So this is your intuition, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clear seeing. Um, I really, this I associate this with like the high priestess energy. So very intuitive this week. Um, you just know, you just know your, your inner ears are working here. This is inner hearing as well. Um, you also could be communicating uh, telepathically with your loved one. Um, very intuitive, very intuitive energy. Um, obviously the color purple is good for you here, amethyst, amethystos. Um, I'm going to put that right there. So your, um, your third eye definitely activated here, balanced coming through strongly, uh, definitely going to be a good uh, week for you to tune in to others, quiet down and really listen to what the other person is saying. Sometimes actions speak louder than words, obviously. Who is coming towards Virgo? Who or what is coming towards Virgo? Okay, we have some fire sun energy coming towards Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And we have the Three of Wands in reverse. It says take the lead here. I'll show you what the card looks like up right. There's that big ball of energy. So Three of Wands here in reverse. Um, but whoever's coming towards you is not taking the lead, Virgo. Um, they may be very apprehensive at this time. They Some plans may be falling through for them or they are not seeing a future with you or they are apprehensive about making some long-term plans happen. happen. Um, there is a lot of this purple energy here, so I, I feel like this is a temporary uh, thing though, is what I'm getting. I feel like um, it's not that they are shunning the effort, it's more that they are uh, dealing with some apprehensions at this time. It could also be that they lack long-term vision or they, they lack the ability to make long-term plans. This could also be a long-term relationship right now that is, is going through some issues. Um, just use your intuition to decipher what, what it is going on, but I, I feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign this week. What is the challenge that Virgo will be facing in terms of their love life? Okay, there it is. So this, this card popped out while I was shuffling if you are paying attention. Um, so, yeah, there's a challenge here regarding building something up, uh, the foundation of a relationship, maybe going through some difficulties. Um, they are, they are wanting you to reach out though, Virgo, ask for what you need. Don't feel like you have to do this all on your own, okay? Don't feel like you have to do this all on your own. Um, they want you to ask for help. They don't want you to feel like you're alone or that you're a martyr. So tune in, use your intuition to figure out what, what tool you might need, what person you might need to call in to help you this week. Definitely don't be afraid to reach out, okay? Um, I, I'm also getting here because of so many threes here, there could be a third person involved here or a third party. And if that's the case, then one person may be experiencing some hesitancy towards making this work if that's the case. Use your intuition again to figure out if that is a situation that you're dealing with. And, and obviously this is just for the, for the next week, so that, can, that situation can improve or can change, but you do need to reach out possibly and ask for help. Ask for what you need. Okay. What is the future or outcome of the situation? We have Seven of Wands, again, fire sign energy choose your battles. 
Yeah, so again, I'm seeing uh, three people here. It's like three against one. You, you could feel like you're being ganged up on uh, or that you have a lot of opposition. I definitely see that there is going to be some adversity here, some frustrating situation. You may be, um, feel like you're backed into a corner here that you have to defend yourself against other people's opinions. I do see some defensiveness here, possibly some people who are being judgmental of you, but you've got to choose if this is, you have to decide if this is really worth your time to engage with these other people. And be careful that you're not putting people uh, on the defensive or, or, or if you are, you know, striking out at others and uh, make, forcing them to make judgments about you or forcing them to, to come to some kind of conclusion. It doesn't always have to be that way. There can be definitely a middle ground here. But, um, yeah, so choose your battles, Virgo. Very important this week. What is the romance? Ooh, we got true love. Okay, so need I say more? This is the romance of a lifetime, Virgo. So some Virgos out there are dealing with their true love. And so even more reason to, to try and make this work, to reach out for help. Um, you know, maybe um, don't take no for an answer, but also I think that you have to be very careful and use your intuition and, and decipher what things are really worth your time and what things are not worth your time. So, but I feel like this relationship, whoever this is, is definitely worth your time and effort. There could just be one person here that's getting in the way or um, is being judgmental of the relationship. What is the sex, fortune, and Kama Sutra position for Virgo this week? Okay, we have the two of testicles. So this is the two of pentacles, mutable, mutable earth. Um, so there you go, Virgo. And... There's a need to be adaptable here, flexible, to be able to try different things. Don't get stuck in a rut. Use your intuition. What do you think is going to work best? What tool in your tool shed will be the best tool for this week in terms of love? And then the crystal that will help you in terms of love and relationships, and we have blue calcite. So what it is, a dreamy, calming blue calcite is the fresh from the meditation retreat, vision board making hippie of the calcite family. Who needs it? People who stare up at the ceiling worrying about the future at 3 a.m. Well, I definitely see someone who's coming towards you who is definitely feeling that way. Maybe putting, um, you know, maybe passing on some of that worry to you. Of course, you could be picking it up because you're so in tune with them, so aware. Where to put it? On your bedside table. When to use it? When stress is the enemy, Virgo, freaking out is not a prerequisite for accomplishment. Deadlines aren't death sentences. Stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it. Call on the calming, focused energy of blue calcite to remind you to put stress in its place far away from the joy of the process and the delight of dreaming big. And your, your uh, mantra here is to act on your dreams, Virgo. Act on your dreams. They are your dreams and yours alone, not other people's. So take that seriously. Take your dreams seriously. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this weekly love reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below, and if you'd like to book a private reading with me, Two openings available and I send you off with love and light. Take care.